No, thank you all uh, again for being here. Um, obviously, we know that sometimes these press conferences can seem uh, repetitious and, re and, re and redundant, but they are fundamentally necessary to making sure that we all do what we can do together to keep our citizens safe. Uh, again, uh, I'm not going to be long. I'm going to touch on a, a couple of topics and certainly have our partners and our, our incredible uh, city staff leadership uh, uh, speak to some of the areas of the, of the subject matter expertise. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, hopefully this will be a, a short um, update. Uh, we saw um, significant rain and, and winds across, across the Midlands. Uh, certain parts of town uh, hit a lot tougher than others. I think depending on where you were, so between two and six inches of rain. Uh, we saw some um, significant winds uh, as high as 45 miles per hour. I think as of 2 p.m., Scanna uh, reported that 24,000 citizens were still without power. Uh, they seem to be on a pretty serious pace to, uh, that's across their system uh, with just under 4,000 here in Richland County. Uh, they seem to be on a pretty significant pace to restoring uh, power to everyone. Uh, we got 44 um, specific tree-related calls uh, across uh, the city, uh, multiple calls regarding limbs down and trees down on power lines. Uh, we, saw, we saw moderate call volume, and we firmly believe that a lot of the work that, that uh, uh, Ms. Wilson, uh, incredible staff, and all our partners did in preparing uh, for the storm has helped to, again, mitigate uh, some of the effects of, that we would normally see if, if, if we weren't involved in pre-staging areas that we knew were going to flood and constantly communicating uh, with our partners and our, and our citizens. Uh, but we saw moderate call volume to both the uh, Columbia Police Department and the Columbia Richland Fire Department. Uh, we certainly saw some significant flooding in places uh, that we expected, Maine and Welly. Uh, that area was blocked off, and we saw no um, significant uh, issues there because of the precautionary measures uh, in place. Uh, we are uh, we're starting to see the benefit of some of the incredible investments the city and our uh, ratepayers have been making over the last several years, and Mr. Shealy uh, might speak to it as, as well. But over the last five years, the city has invested uh, over $100 million in four specific sewer-related infrastructure projects. Uh, today, those projects save the city uh, about 20 million gallons of, of spillage uh, from reaching uh, rivers and, and, and streams. So these types of smart investments uh, in our infrastructure and in our city are paying off uh, for the long term. Uh, we're proud to be joined by our, our entire team here. We're going to go ahead and let everyone do their, their traditional uh, updates. Uh, we're also joined by, of course, by our educational uh, leaders as well. Uh, we call this one uh, just as quickly as we call all, all the others. Several of our pa partners have had conflicts. Uh, everyone seems to be very happy uh, with the results. We're fortunate. Uh, we are, we are, we are um, uh, praying for those uh, incredible images we're seeing uh, come out of Florida and, and those who are still in the, in the, in the path of, of what's left of the storm. And we're going to continue doing the things that we do best. Uh, when we are out of danger, we're going to help our neighbors and our, and our friends uh, rebound from this storm. Uh, Go ahead and turn it over to Chief Holbrook. Good afternoon. What a difference 12 hours makes. Um, <laughs> beginning about 4, 4 a.m. this morning is when we started uh, really seeing the effects of the storm. Um, as the mayor said, um, our call volume was, was moderate. We answered 254 calls for service during the, during the storm. We responded to 14 vehicle accidents, and that really is um, a fairly normal day for us. Um, we had trees down. We would communicate quickly with uh, forestry and our public works department and uh, an immediate response, and they got roadways clear. Um, the sheriff asked that, um, that we share that they had similar experience, responded to um, a number of trees down in roadways, but they were click quickly cleared. Um, the pre staging barricades at our areas we know are prone for high water. Uh, worked remarkably well. We didn't have any water incidents and uh, we really appreciate the, uh, the response we get from our citizens when, when we ask for their assistance. They really uh, um, seem to pay attention and, and, and listen to our words of caution and um, it was a great team effort today and glad to be part of that team. Thank you. Amen. Chief Jenkins. <clears throat> uh, good afternoon. Uh, 
all call volume between the hours of uh, five and about nine went up to about um, 57 calls. And at the end of the day, we ran about a little over 100 calls um, between um, that, between four o'clock up to four o'clock. So um, again, we're glad that the public did take heed to what would the safety badge that we'll give it out um, to make sure you don't take care of those safety issues as far as candles and um, generators and stuff like that. Uh, we ran several calls, several power lines down and several trees down as well. Uh, we also ran um, little moderate smoke inside the structure due to electrical problems that they were having. But one, one car we ran was uh, on Rand Avenue. We had a tree actually fell on the house. And I tell you, that was a, um, the, the guy was pretty fortunate because the bed that he usually lay in, that's where the tree fell, but he happened to not be in the bed at the time. And But it was a good clever effort between the fire department, the Columbia Police Department, Forestry, uh, as we had to extricate the person out of the house so we're glad that he came out with just moderate, non-life-threatening injuries. So we're just uh, glad that, again, that the public just gave heed to the warrants. Thank you. Assistant City Manager, Pence Shealy, want to be awarded? Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to report that our, our call volume at our customer care center is, is very low as of about 30 minutes ago, the wait time is less than one minute. So um, we were not experiencing a, a high volume of calls at this time, but if customers do have any um, issues, they can call 803-545-3300, report those, and um, we'll get right, right, right to it. On the drinking water side, we fared very well. We didn't have any service interruptions that we're aware of. We had a few minor power outages that were quickly resolved. Um, our Columbia Canal is in great shape. Um, and so things are looking really good there. On the wastewater side, um, when you have high intensity rain events, it can be a real challenge for a collection system. Um, we had, um, anytime you have surface flooding that it, it, it's tight as you try to keep your collection system, that water is going to flow into manholes. And so um, at our wastewater treatment plant, we did fare well, but we saw our flows increase from around 40 million gallons a day up to 120 million gallons a day in less than six hours. So it was a very steep, rise in our flow rate there, um, but our staff handled that very, very well. In our collection system, we had, at the height of the storm, we had 10 of our pump stations without power, um, but, but we worked with SCNG and appreciate them helping us so quickly. Um, as of about an hour ago, we had three stations still without power. One was running on generator power, one off a diesel pump, and the other were pumping and hauling to, to make sure we don't have any wastewater escape the, the collection system there. During the height of the storm and, and the, the peak rainfall events and the inflow that happens with that, we did have five sanitary sewer overflows. Public notification was made for four of those um, per our requirements based on the volume. Two were near Lake Catherine, um, one was in Penn Branch, one was um, near Crane Creek, and one was um, down off of Bluff Road. So um, notifications have been made and um, I, I would like to reiterate what the mayor has, has said. Um, I think specifically about the storage tanks that we put in several years ago at this, near the, our Saluda River pump station. We put about six million gallons of wastewater in those storage tanks today. Um, that would not have had a place to go had those storage tanks not been there. And so that would have escaped our system and gone to the environment. Speaking about that, that steep increase in flow at our wastewater treatment plant, had we not invested $43 million about five, a uh, little over five and a half years ago, we would not have been able to handle that increase in flow. And so that some of that wastewater would have escaped also. So the investments are paying off. We're not proud of, of any escaping, but we did have a few overflows. Um, we're working on those, cleaning those up right now. Um, again, I would like to acknowledge our staff for their hard work. It was a, a tough evening and a tough day, but they've done a remarkable job, and I really appreciate their efforts. Thank you. Robert Anderson, Director of Public Works. Good afternoon. I also want to thank the citizens of Columbia, police and fire, and others for getting the calls out today to forestry and our street division. As of now, out of the a little over 40 calls we've done. We've got about three spots left in town that we will clean up before the day's over. So tomorrow's a new day for us. We will actually go out again, start cleaning our storm drain systems, start making sure that we break our storm drains and get everything open back up. I also want to remind everybody tomorrow is the garbage collection day that if your garbage was usually collected on Thursday, it will be collected on Friday. 
And if it was collected on Friday, please get your carts out and we will service them on Saturday. Thank you. Several of our partners here today, uh, Craig Witherspoon, Superintendent Richland One. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon. Um, certainly with the work of city and uh, county staff with the trees and so forth, um, we didn't experience uh, any damage to our building. So tomorrow we will be operating on normal schedule, regular schedule for students and staff. Tomorrow is a half day for students. That was already planned. Um, uh, certainly want to thank our transportation and our maintenance staff whenever we have uh, these types of events and uh, we're trying to get people home our maintenance staff uh, security and transportation they're out traveling the roads uh, to see if we're able to uh, when we're able to resume normal operations so we certainly thank uh, them as well uh, and to our parents and, and, and everyone again thank you so we can get back uh, to the business of educating our kids thank you Amen. Dr. Christina Melton, Lexington, Richmond 5. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. What a strong st statement this makes that public education is included with announcements like this. So, Mayor, thank you for your vision. We thank all of our partners. We have had on-site reviews of all of our facilities. We are ready to reopen tomorrow. Unlike my neighbors in Richmond 1, we have a full day for students tomorrow for both students and staff. We do resume uh, field trips tomorrow for those that have been pre-scheduled and also athletic events will be resuming tomorrow evening. We ask our families to log into our website this evening because we will have an alteration with our lunch menu for tomorrow because our delivery was disrupted today. So families, if you'll join, uh, log into our website this evening, you'll be able to see our updated menu so that you know what to expect on our menu for tomorrow. Uh, Dr. Marshall and Franklin, Richland 2. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. District officials have assessed the conditions of our roads and campuses. We're grateful the impact of the storm is minimal and doesn't include anything that would prevent us from resuming standard operations tomorrow. When it comes to our employees and students, safety is priority one, teaching and learning priority two. And we look forward to returning to priority two tomorrow when we welcome back our employees and our 28,000 students operating on our regular schedule. John Ando, with the comment. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the comment. Uh, we're uh, grateful for the work that the city was able to do and the county as it relates to the roadways. We did suspend service earlier this morning due to high winds and some uh, congested roadway conditions. Uh, we did resume service at 11 a.m. and we are going to continue to have regular service tomorrow. Um, and if, if passengers need further information, they can contact us at 803-255-7100 for route and schedule information. Of course, um, happy to be joined by uh, Councilman uh, Duval and Councilman Jackson from City Council and, and County Council, respectively. And uh, Dalton Treasure always here uh, on behalf of Congressman Clyburn. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, I'm going to uh, wrap up, and then obviously, I'm not sure if, if Director Tinsley uh, and another city manager is going to uh, want to have some final words. Uh, I want to thank uh, the two of them specifically, uh, Teresa Wilson and Harry Tinsley. The incredible work that they do, uh, the constant communication, the constant sharing of needs and, uh, and desires, the clear roles and responsibility everyone plays, uh, focused on, on, on the very simple goal of keeping our citizens safe and alive and doing everything we can to protect uh, public infrastructure and, and, and private property. It doesn't just happen. It takes incredible leadership and these men and women assembled behind us working together uh, are, are doing the great work. Uh, I will say this. our. Our focus is, is regional. Uh, if, if you'd had an opportunity to sit on some of the calls that we've, we've had, uh, we're not just talking about what happens in the four corners of the city of Columbia, uh, but really aggressively trying to understand how lives are being impacted uh, in this region, uh, but, but also in other parts of, of, the, of the country as well. Uh, we leave here today very happy that there is no loss of life, uh, but also very cognizant of the fact that several lives and families uh, have been disrupted by the storm here uh, in the Midlands of South Carolina. Some people have lost property and that can never be uh, replaced. Uh, some uh, will, will be suffering because of that. Uh, several uh, will lose days off of work uh, in a very income volatile situation. We want to make sure we're cognizant 
uh, of, of that and making sure that, um, I guess my plea is that anyone who's within the sound of my voice, if you can do anything, as an employer, as a, as a, as a neighbor, as a friend, as a family member that, to, to help address the needs of some of our friends and family who may still be suffering uh, because of the effects of Hurricane uh, Michael, Tropical Storm Michael, let's make sure that we do that. Let's make sure we do that. Give the microphone to uh, City Manager, Teresa Wilson. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Um, we just want to say thank you together, and um, I could not do the job. I do, certainly. We work as a team, and so I thank Mayor Benjamin and Mr. Duvall, all of City Council, County Council, for allowing staff to do their jobs. Um, we take it very seriously as public servants. And I wanted to take this time, too, because I think it often goes unsaid, and I think I can speak for all the entities here to thank our families. Um, you know, they understand and tolerate all of us because when we're here doing this work, they're at home and taking care of our families. And so I just wanted to say a special shout out to all the families of public servants um, who understand what it means to serve. And we appreciate them for allowing us to do our jobs as well. Harry? I would just like to say I thank you for the collaboration and the team effort that we do. Um, our, our goal is to be ready, responsive, and resilient. Uh, and we do a lot of planning. We do a lot of leaning forward. Uh, in our decision making, but it's, it's these partners and everyone that's working together uh, to make it happen. We stand ready in the EOC, our staff that was on, on uh, task today, uh, processed a lot of information, they worked very hard too. So a lot of behind the scenes work, but we just appreciate the support and what you do. Thank you. 